What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dope team for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Dialga team alongside with Turchinator, who is a Pokemon that we have never used on this channel before. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. And right now, by the time I'm recording this, we are sitting at 7,982 subscribers. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you help me push 8,000 by scrolling down a little bit and just clicking that subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time, and it really benefits both of us. But starting off on the team, top left corner, we have Dialga, our restricted mon, and he's going to be the heart and soul of the team. With a pressure ability, life warp item, and then he has a moveset of Roar Time, Steel Beam, Power Gem, and Blizzard. This thing's an absolute beast. Is so versatile and can work out in basically any situation. Right next to him, we have Grim Snarl with the Prankster ability, but Beery Berry so we can eat up a Steel Shot, Spirit Break, Scary Face to slow down opposing Pokemon, Fake Out for Flinches, and Fake Tears to pair well with Dialga to get that special defense drop. Middle left, we have Rillaboom with that Grassy Surge and Miracle Seed to do more damage. Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, Fake Out, and Protect. And I really do love this moveset on this thing right here, considering we get the boost from the Grassy Surge and the boost from the Miracle Seed, so Grass moves are doing tons of damage. And then we got Grassy Glide for first turn priority, Wood Hammer for heavy hitting, Fake Out for flinches, and Protect just to protect our Pokemon. Middle right, we have Urshfu, who is a really good Pokemon with the Fighting and Dark type. Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Detect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. That bottom left is Landorus over here with Intimidate and a Soul Fest, but this moveset's really cool with him. I really do dig this one. Earth Power, Grass Knot, Stone Edge, and Weather Ball. Something different, something cool. Hopefully, we get to show him off in today's video. Then in the bottom right corner is a Pokemon that I absolutely love, which made me pick this team. It is Turtonator over here, Shell Armor and Leftovers. It's a Fire and Dragon type with Body Press, Fire Spin, Iron Defense, and Protect. This thing is so cool. Cannot wait to use them and show them all for you guys. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Dialga and Turtonator team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a semi-meta team, semi-off meta team, so I'm with it. This guy is Whimscott, Charizard, Skeptile, Zacian, Zapdos, and Grimpsnarl. Who should I go into? How should I lead this one? We're trying to get a win in battle number one to get us started off strong. Uh, Zacian is going to be a problem. I think I'm going to need Intimidate here. I think Landorus definitely should come in here because we have that Assault Best. He has a few special attackers as well. I think I could go Dialga, Grimmsnarl. I think that's a, that's a great play. I really do see that being a decent play. I could uh, scary face if I need to slow down, or I can go for that special defense boost or special defense drop. I could flinch, so I'm really liking that. I am really digging that. I am going to bring Landorus. I kind of want Turgenator here. He's such a cool Pokemon, man. He is so dope. Plus, he's fire typing. That does work up against three of his Pokemon. Do I dare do it, or do I bring Urshifu and place one safe? Nah, we're getting Turtonator out here. We're getting after it. We're trying to show him off in today's video. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What are your plans for summer 2021? For me, I'm going on a few vacations, so I'm really, really hyped. Within the next month, I'll be on two. But I'm going to have videos recorded and uploaded ready for you guys, so you guys don't miss a beat. But I'm going to be going to Universal in Florida, which is dope. And then I'm going to Atlantic City, New Jersey with my boys to go to the casinos and hit up some bars because it's one of my buddies 21st. So that's going to be fun. And then maybe, just maybe later in the summer, I'm going to Hawaii with two close friends. So summer's jam-packed for me. I cannot wait to get after it. Let me know in the comments section down below what your guys' plans are, are, whether you guys are going on vacation, doing school, or just working and getting after the grind. But he leads Grimmsnarl and Charizard. Okay. Um, I could, I could stay in and potentially eat up the shot. Or I can just fake out and roll after that. Let me just see. Could swap into Lando. I could swap into Turtonator. Could do that. Just just see if I can eat. And potentially just uh, start spirit breaking. Hmm. And just start lowering Charizard special attack. I think that's gonna be play. I think we swap the Alga and we start wasting these Dynamax turns. Cause I can totally see a what's called coming out here. A Dynamax Charizard into like a Max Flare or G Max Wildfire. Oh, we're gonna see double swap. Wow, I could have swapped. I mean, I could have Dynamax and got after it. I could have Dynamax and got after it. So, terrible turn by me. Unless he's going to fake me out, then I'll be fine by it. Yeah, I'm just going to drop back. I can go for an Iron Defense next turn. Let's start uh, getting after it. There's my boy, Turt. Look at him, yo. He looks so dope. Light screen's getting set up. Okay. So, we setting up the screens. I think I might swap Grim. Spear Break's coming out here. That's just going to lower special attack, which is going to do nothing all around. Okay. Hmm. Maybe should have just faked out. Went from there. 
But I could fight. I could scary face and slow this thing down. I could fake tears. But I think I am just going to swap into Lando. And get out of that way. And maybe just iron defense up. With my turret. I think it's going to be play. Bulk up with turret and roll from there. I do have leftovers on the field, which is nice. Or not on the field. Leftovers as my item. But we're going to get Lando to drop this thing to uh, attack once again. And now he goes back to even. He boosts it. We drop it. And we roll from there. And Grip Snarl's physical attacking too. So that's going to work well in our favor. But Zassian's so strong. I don't like him. Thunderwave's going to come out here. Hey, yo. On my turret, man. Chill on me. Not on my turretinator, boy. Not on my turret. Hopefully he gets off this, uh, this thing right here. Player off comes out. Landers dodges, which is dope. And Iron Defense comes out. So we're bulking up. We are bulking up. You love to see it. You love to see it. Maybe he's going to go for a play rough. I can drop an EP. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to double up into him. I think we're going to see a fire spin coming out here. We're going to double up into this uh, into this Zassian slide. He's going to set up a reflex so we can eat up shots. But hopefully we can do a decent amount of damage here. Let's get it. Behemoth Blade coming out here. Go after Lando, please. Actually, you can go after my turret. We're boosted on the defense. See, Lando should be able to eat, I think, right? Yep. Lando eats. I'm liking this so far. Earth Power comes out here. Doing some nice damage. Get after him. There you go. Fire Spin, I need you to connect. Don't be paralyzed. Yes, sir. And it connects. Beautiful. Does this KO? No. It does not KO. But we get him trapped in that Vortex, which is nice. So we're going to be able to pester around, do some damage all around. Okay. I don't have Protect on this thing, so looks like we're going for another one of these. Hmm. I guess we'll go get after it like that. And then we we'll Iron Defense again. Because who else did he have? He had Charizard. He did have Charizard, which is probably going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. Um. And who else do I think he has? Maybe Zapdos? My Iron Defense again. I think I'm going to Fire Spin over on him. Start pestering him with Vortex damage. He's going to withdraw Grimstone. Okay, beautiful. And who are you going to throw out? Charizard? He's going to be Dizard. He's going to be Skepta. Oh, so nice Fire Spin coming out here. Behemoth Blade is going to take out Lando, which I'm totally fine with. Which I am totally fine with. Lando's gone. This thing's going to take some Fire Spin damage. And one more turn into Fire Spin. He should be dead. And Turtonator's doing really well, actually. He's just pesting around. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Just as I say he's doing really well. That would have been a big fire spin. That would have been a nice fire spin. Um, I get out Grimstone, I'll fake out and get off another fire spin. I'm digging it. Or I can iron defense up. I can do both. I can do both. We're definitely faking you out. We're saying, hey, get this boy out of my face. Um, do I iron defense or do I fire spin? I think we fire spin here. Just start getting after Skeptile while we can. Let's see what he does. Let's see what his play is. I'm liking this battle. We're doing decently well here. He does have the Charizard who is scaring me a little bit. But if he does bring out Charizard, I don't know if I should go for a special defense drop. Or do I get after the what's it called? Oh, he's Dynamax. Okay, never mind. So I don't really have to worry about the Charizard anymore. He's still going to be a little threat to my Diablo, but still. So I feel like Skeptile poses a bigger threat as of right now because it's Dynamax. So we're going to say bye to Zassi and I'm not even worrying about him. And we're going to start getting after the Skeptile. Try to get this thing out of my face. Let's see what he does. What's his play? Fake out. Bang. See you later, dude. Fire spin damage. He's going to pick that one up. And this thing is going to go for a max quake. So he's going to get a special defense boost. Which is pretty smart. He's going to go after my turret, man. Leave my turretinator alone. We're defense bulked up here. Which is nice. But I hate how we're paralyzed. It's kind of annoying me. Hopefully we can connect this fire spin just so we can get off this uh, pester damage. Yep, fire spin connects. We're doing a little bit of damage, but more so we can pester around here. And we chop the thing in a vortex. And no way. This thing's policy. It's probably unburdened too. So now, now I'm a little scared. There goes my leftovers. Uh, I think I'm going to protect this turn. We just got to waste out these turns. We really do. There's the fire spin damage, which is doing more than the, the actual fire spin did. Fire spin picks up the KO onto the Zacian. Yeah, new turret's fun to play with, man. I really am liking this Pokemon. Um, do I scary face to slow him down? Like, what's the play here? Hmm. He's gonna bring out Charizard, right? Charizard comes out. And does he have one more mon, or is this it? He does have one more. I don't think he showed it, right? Let's who did he lead? He led Charizard and Grimmsnarl. 
Oh no, he must have swapped Grimstone. That's exactly what he did. He swapped Grimstone, so he still has Grimstone. Um, what's the play here? A Spirit Break. I think we're going to do Spirit Break. Drop your special attack, and just protect this turn. Get some HP back on my boy, and we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this play turns out. There's my protect. Big Shell Boy getting after it, and he's gonna go for another Max Quake. Over into turret, hopefully, and we just eat up easily. Yep. Tasty snap. Real tasty snap. But he's getting special defense boost. Which I don't like. Which I don't like. So there's that. And what's Charizard going for? Charizard, what are you doing, kind sir? Charizard's gonna go for a sub. Okay. Do I still get the special defense or special attack drop? Even through the sub? I think we might, which could be huge. So there's this. Dealing damage, not very effective. Do we still get the drop? We still we don't get the drop. That's why. That's a big play by him. That's a big play by him. I'm not liking this one bit. All right, looks like we're scary facing then. What do I fake tears before we roll out? Cause we're gonna want want to drop this thing so the defense back. Hmm. They got body press at this point. Wow, that thing got off a nice sub. It's a good battle. This is a good first battle. It's long drawn out. We still have the owl getting the back with the life orb. Fake tears are gonna come out here. I'm just gonna start dropping this thing special defense because I'm not really trying to deal with it. But if Grimstarl goes down, then we're not gonna be really thriving here. There goes the overgrowth, which is going after it. Grimstarl, can you eat? Even though it's weak to policy proc, you do not eat. Kind of upset about that one. Not gonna lie, a little upset. Okay. So we're gonna be able to get off a body press here. We should be able to, we're, unless we get paralyzed here. Here goes the sub back out here. He's gonna go for a hurricane, which connects. We should be able to eat fine, right? Oh my lord, never mind. Never mind. Charizard's a beast. He's too good. He's too good. I thought we were eating that one up like a snack. And now we're coming out here with this long drawn out battle. That's not looking good in our favor. He has one turn left in Dynamax. His policy's proc. He has a sub set up. This dude's looking real good. He's looking real good. The Dynamax of a Skeptile was power move. It really was. Pressure coming out here. He doesn't have Dynamax anymore. Um. Hmm. And how do I play this one? Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Charizard's posing that big threat, but he's subbed up. He is subbed up. Which is tough. Deal Spike could come in bigger for us. Really do want to go for a stab move here. Let's take out Skeptile. Let's get rid of him. And then we'll roll from here. Because he does have that policy proc. But the thing is, Charizard can go for a heavy fire move. Which I don't like. That's why I think this game is pretty much a wrap. It's like each side has its benefits. Like, if I get after Charizard, then Skeptile is going to come after me and hit me hard with the policy proc. And if I don't get after Charizard, then he still has sub and he's going to hit me with fire moves. Let's see what happens. EQ is going to come through. Who dropped an EQ? Was that Skeptile? Yeah, I'm burning Skeptile's gonna drop an EQ. That's fine by me. And subs can come out here. Is he heat waving? He's blast burning. We're able to eat that up all day, so we have to waste out a turn now. That might have just gave us a chance. That might have just gave us a chance. Here goes Steel Spike. This KO. It does. Him blast burning might have just gave us a chance here. He does outspeed us. It's kinda whack. Oh, another blast burn might take us out. This is tough news. Light screen wears off. Okay. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? He's gonna send out Grimmsnarl. And I am just going to... Do I drop another Steel Spike? I feel like I have to get after his Charizard, right? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start handing up Buffet damage because Steel types can't take the uh, Sandstorm damage. Thunderwave's gonna come through here. A nice, nice smart little play there. We're powered. Hopefully we can move here. Charizard must recharge. And of course we're powered. Now it's definitely over. Now it's 100% over. Because my plan here was to take off the substitute. Maybe eat up a Blast Burn. Take out the Charizard. And then be able to eat up whatever Grimstar has to offer. But we can't do that anymore. Because we were powered. There's a light screen. Now he's setting up the screens. And this dude's driving pretty well. That's pretty much GG. Dang, dude, we had a shot until we got powered. 
Don't like this game. There goes another blast burn. Can we eat that up? See, we were eating up a blast burn. That's the thing. Just think. Charizard would have been dead here. Charizard would 100% been dead here. So Charizard should be dead. Just We're, we're just saying, if, if we were never powered, Charizard should be dead. I'm trying to think. Is there, is there a way we can pick up this win now? Buffets are coming out here. Is there a way we can pick up this win now? So, theoretically speaking, we never get paralyzed. Charizard should be dead because we took off the substitute last turn. And it comes down to here. It would have came down like this. This is, this is exactly how it would have came down to. Actually, we probably still would have lost this one. Hmm. We do have Steel Beam. Which I, I think I'm just going to send. This Actually, it will kill us. Yeah, I'd rather just go for a Roar Time. Try to get rid of this Charizard. Or we can go for a Blizzard. And hope they miss. Nah. Let's see what happens. Yeah, but this one's over with. He must recharge. Here goes Spirit Break. Spirit Break connects. That's going to pick up KO, right? Yep. GG's. GG's. Actually, solid first battle. Long drawn out. That was like a 15-minute battle, which is pretty nuts. But we ended up losing. We start off 0-1. We can hop into our second battle and look for our first win. Second battle coming at you guys, and I would have never guessed that we're going up against another Zassian team. Like, surprise, surprise. Zassian is all over the meta. This is a top-tier Zassian team. Everybody's using it right now. And hopefully we can get a win here and not lose back-to-back -back ones. So, we're looking for it. I don't know who I should go into. I'm thinking we definitely have to bring Landris because... Of course, Sassian has that, in, uh, not Intimidate, that attack boost. So we can actually drop it like that. He does have a lot of special attackers too, so that Assault Best is going to help me out. I think I want to go into Grimstarl. Get rolling with Grimstarl. I might bring Dialga just to get a turn one going. Hmm. Could go Venusaur. And I don't really, I don't really like if he goes Venusaur. Actually, let's go Dialga because I can change weather with that as well, which is really nice. I can change weather like that. Definitely bring Lando. And then in the final spot... Do I go with Urshifu? I think Urshifu might be the play. Because we do have a Focus Ash, which is dandy candy. I am liking that. Over Rillaboom, yeah. Because he has a lot of Pokemon that can just dump on Rillaboom, no problem. So I think Urshifu is going to be that final spot. The Sash could help us out in the end game, And hopefully we can pick up this uh, win battle number two. Because that first battle, that was a long battle. That was a long battle since the beginning. Since the beginning, it was long. But his clutch play was actually Dynamax and Skepta. I wasn't expecting that. Because Fire Spin does a little bit of damage. He got that weakness policy proct and got that unburden for no damage at all and rolled out from there and pretty much won that game. But he goes Lando and Grimstarl. So attack drop isn't going to do anything to my Dialga, which is nice. I'm digging that. And I think I just get rolling with a fake out. I might Dynamax here. I might Dynamax into a Steel Spike. You know, I'm going to fake out the Grimstarl. And... I'm going to drop a Blizzard. Blizzard could be dirty. Do I go for a Blizzard? Or do I go for a Roar Time? Well, I can't. I can't. can't go next turn. I think I have to Dynamax here. I think I'm just going to, uh... I think I'll Lando or Grim. I think we're going to fake out Grim. And get after him with the Steel Spike. It's going to be play. Get Dynamax and start boosting our defensive stat. Rolling from that. He's Dynamax. Ooh, okay. All right, I see you. I see you, my dude. So he's going to end up Dynamax and Lando. Right, no way, Scrimstrong. Yep, he's going to end up Dynamax and Landorus. I can scary face it. I can special attack or special defense drop that thing. That's pretty good. And we're going to get a defense boost because we know this thing's physical attack. So that's, I like that turn. So he Dynamaxes, I Dynamax. We getting after it. We both had the same idea. We're like, yo, we're Dynamaxing. We fighting right here, right now. We're not playing none of this slow game. We're getting right after it. But the other is so dope. He's such a cool Pokemon. Get me real hype for Gen 4 Remix. That game's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to do a playthrough for that for you guys and do some online battles and stuff. They better have online battles and all that stuff. Be dope. Grimstar, bang. Get that little flinch on him. And as long as he's not holding that Babiri Berry, we should be thriving here. He jumps a Quake into my Dialga, right? That's got to come, yep. And, ooh, ooh, don't like that one bit. We're gonna definitely gonna, gonna have to scary face that. We're definitely gonna have to scary face that. Let's see what happens here. Actually, I think I have a smarter play to do. Actually, we don't have Protect, which stinks. 
And there goes that. Drip Charles is dead. Dang, if we had protect, this is the play I was going to do. I was going to special defense drop him, protect, and then next turn scary face him so we can outspeed and get that special defense drop and hit him hard. But I think scary face is just going to be the play. All around, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to be play. And he's going to bring out here now. Whom are you bringing out here, kind sir? Is it going to be Twinkle or Venusaur? Did you bring the Sun Squad? Or is it going to be Zacian? I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that one bit. Let's see who he rolls with. I could swap Dialga. I never really swap Dynamax Mines. That's really not my play. Hmm. I do have the Babiri Berry, so that could be nice. I, I think I'm just going to Spirit Break here. I might worm one. Let's get that attack drop. I think worm one's better than the, the defensive boost. Because my scary face eats. Slow him down. Hopefully Zassian goes after uh, Grimstarnal. That would be the play. Behemoth Blade comes out here. It is. A Babiri Berry's popping. Maybe we can eat this. We still might go down to this. This is how strong this Pokemon is. I'm scared that it's going to KO me through a Babiri Berry. Whew. <laughs> Wipe the sweat off her forehead. We survived that one. Wormwind's coming through here, so we're going to get a nice big old attack drop here. And we get some nice damage over on the Lando. Lando is going to end up taking out my Dialga, which is fine. I think we get that speed drop onto the Zassian, and we bring out Lando next turn. I'm digging this. There goes the Quake. That's totally fine by me. That's fine by me. Bang. Okay. That's chilling. So we get both of them are, well, Landorus is minus one on attack. That scene is even. We're going to drop them both by one stage again with an Intimidate. That's going to be pretty nice. That's going to be pretty nice for you. So a solid worm when to go in there. Get that attack drop and roll from there. We still have Urshfu in the back. We can do some big damage. Definitely get my Lando out here. Gotta get him out here. Get that big Intimidate rolling. Uh, do I slow down Zassian? What's the play here? I might slow down Zassian here. Intimidate, getting that big drop. At least minus two. I'm liking where we're sitting. He can't drop a rock on me. Kind of scary. But I honestly think I just slow you down. Do I earth power up against him? I could zone edge. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna drop an earth power. Try to do some damage to Zassi and get after this thing. Because Lando, I get, like, it has another Dynamax. Oh, he's going to swap. That's wonderful. He swaps. Oh, my lord. What a swap. What a swap. We are going to slow him down, though, which which is pretty good for us. But our Earth Power is not going to connect. God dang it, man. Earth Power doesn't connect. And what is Lando going for? going to go for an Airstream. Get a speed boost. Probably take out Grimstarnal. Yep. So Grimmy's gone. Uh... He's taking his speed up a little bit, but still, they're both minus one, which is pretty nice. Um, I have Urshfu. This one's going to be a good battle. This one's going to be good. Urshfu's going to roll out here. I'm going to try a Stone Edge up on that Charizard. That could be really good. Urshfu coming out here. I could Sucker Punch, but I think we're going to outspeed him regardless. He's minus one. So, I'm going to have Urshfu take out the Lando, and I'm going to try to Stone Edge up on the Charizard. That could be, that could be the play. That could be the play. Let's see it. Um, Wicked Blow, definitely, over on Lando, and then we Stone Edge him. Hopefully this connects, hopefully we can get a crit with it, because crits land more easily, and we can roll from there. Because if we can 2v1 onto the Zacian, I think we should be decent. I think we should be sitting fine, because we have a Sash on one mod. Let's see what happens, Wicked Blow comes through, we should say bye to the Lando, get him out of my face, get him out of here, get him out of here. Lando's gone, get that guaranteed crit. And hopefully Stone Edge connects, show it to me. Stone Edge does connect. Give me the crit. It just KOs. Is that crit? Did we get the crit? We didn't get the crit. We didn't need it. Big plays, Bire Boy. Big plays. Now we're sitting here 2v1 and up against Zassian. He is going to go up plus one. We have a Sash still, which is huge. We should outspeed. At least one of my Pokemon should. Zassian's fast. Got to watch out for him. Um, I think I just start close combating. Start trying to do as much damage as I possibly can, you know? We're definitely going to try to get the Earth Powers off. I don't know what he's communicating for so long. Like, what's he thinking about? <laughs> I was going to say, what's he thinking about? He has one Pokemon left. That scene comes out. 
And I hate how he gets another attack boost. Like, he should only get one. He should really only get one. Those comets can come out here. That's definitely the play. And Earth Power is definitely the play. Let's roll. Let's just get straight after this thing. Try to do as much damage as we can. He's going to outspeed both of us, which is tough. And who's he going after? Go after Urshifu. Would love for you to go after Urshifu. Let's have Lando. Eat this, buddy. Cool. Awesome. We eat. That should be pretty much game. We should pretty much have this one as a wrap. As a wrap here. GG's, man. GG's. Our defense is dropping. Earth Power can come through. Earth Power might be able to pick up the KO. Let's see. And it does. It does. And we take out a heavy meta team right here. That is a good win for us. That is like a top tier Zassian team. And we just dumped on it. Now we're sitting at 1-1. One one. We can hop into our third and final and look to get that winning record. I was zoned into that last battle. I really won that win and we ended up picking it up for you guys. But we're sitting here in our third and final battle. And again, for the third game in a row, going up against the Zassian team. Like, they got to do something to change up the meta. It is getting boring. It is getting so old. Everyone's using the same Pokemon because it is so broken right now. Like, they should just take out Zassian. Just take them out. Make everything easier. Or just do something new to the meta to make it change. Because I'm getting real tired of it. And I bet you guys are too. But hopefully we can beat it once again without it. Because usually the only way to beat the Zassian is to bring another Zassian. But we rolled in that last one. We did do really well. I think I should lead the Grimmsnarl again. Get rolling with him. Definitely got to bring in Lando. Like, Lando has that Intimidate drop. He's really, really good. He has that Venusaur and Torkoal combo, which is huge in this meta right now, too. Like I, I feel like that's all I see is the Zacian and the Venusaur Torkoal combo. It's just so big. I kind of want to bring in Turtonator because he's a cool Pokemon. I don't want to lead Lando. I don't know why I did that. But I think I want to go with these two again. With these two rolling, we can get out a Fake Out. Um, we have the Algo. We can get some boost. We can change the weather with that. Um... Definitely got to bring Lando. And then do I bring Urshfu? Like, I want Urshfu, but then at the same time, I want boy Turt. Turt's so cool. But Urshfu would be the play. Hmm. Let me just rock out with Turt. Let's get Turt and Ader out here. Try to have some fun with this. Win or lose. I'm trying to show off this boy right here. And we already pretty much showed off this team to its fullest potential in that last battle. And the first battle. Like, the first battle wasn't a bad one. The first battle was some swaps. Very slow played. Got to show off teams. We ended up losing, though. But I still feel like both the battles that we recorded so far were dope and awesome ones. But let's see. Who are you going to lead? Let me get a Sassian. No. The Torkoal and Venusaur combo. My second guess. <laughs> but we'll get this rolling here. Definitely got to fake out the Torkoal. And I think I Dynamax. I think we Dynamax. And we take out the weather. And we say, hey, weather, get out of my face. So let's rock fall here. Take out the weather. Do I fake out? I think I just spirit break. What do I scary face slow this thing down? So the weather comes out first. Hmm. What is the play, jeans? What is gonna be the play? I don't want to spirit break, but I think I think scary face is gonna be the play over the fake out. I think scary, scary Face is definitely going to be the play. We slow down the Venusaur. So then a Rock Fall comes out first. We change up the weather. And we roll from there. He's not Dynamaxing. He's going for a Sleep Powder. He's going for a Sleep Powder. Oh. Oh, no. I should have faked him out. I should have faked out the Venusaur. But I would have, if I used Faked out, I would have went after the Torkoal slot. 100%. 100% would have went after that Torkoal slot. Well, there goes my Scary Face. Yeah, slow that thing down. I absolutely love Scary Face. I used it a couple videos ago, and I didn't think I was going to like it. I absolutely love this move. It's so good. Just It just takes speed control easily. It was a rock ball. We take out the Torkoal. We take weather control. I like that turn one play. I really do like that turn one play. The thing is, he's going to put me to sleep. And then I don't like that one bit. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Let's see. He's got to be putting you on sleep powder, right? Yeah. Once he didn't Dynamax, I knew it. I was like, oh, no. So he does that, he puts me to sleep. They can take buffets from the storm. But we take out that weather, and he probably has Zassian in the back if he's gonna pull out right now. Which is kinda scary to me. And if he does, I think I'd scary face that, slow that thing down, and go from there. No, Lando's gonna come out. All right, Lando. I see you, man. I think I'm gonna scary face you. Intimidate coming out here. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. I see my idea. I'm going to wake up. Actually, do I start? 
I think we're gonna at least try to go for a warm one. That would be the play. I think I'm just gonna try to get off Spirit Breaks onto this Venusaur just to get that special attack shot. And he's gonna withdraw the Venusaur. So let's throw out and it's gonna be Zastion, right? It's gotta be his last mod. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. <laughs> like, it's 100% that they bring him. You cannot have his Zastion team and not bring him. Here goes the Lando Dynamax. Spirit Break's gonna do nothing. Just a, just a little bit of damage. Get a special attack shot, but he's physical. I think I gotta start scary facing these Pokemon. And he's gonna start getting special defense boost on me. Bro, three times in a row. Zassian, Zassian, and Zassian team. Nuts, it's crazy. This meta is just so much fun. <laughs> I still do have fun playing this game, don't get me wrong, guys. It's just like, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. The meta is just the same right now. He max Knuckles, he's getting attack boost, and he gets a crit. Lucky little biscuit. Lucky little biscuit there. And now he's plus two. Now his attack is through the roof. Now his attack is boosted really, really good. Um, hmm, what do I think play is? I think play is to try to get off at Wormwind onto you. And then it's just scary face and slow down you. That's going to be play. Because hopefully we can eat up uh, whatever he has to offer. And wake up this turn. We, we need to, if we're going to win this game, we, we need to wake up right now. That's the only way we win this game. And, of course, we're asleep. Wonderful. Just dandy, man. There goes the Airstream. We're able to eat. I think he's doubling up in the Diaga. Just dandy, yo. We are slumped. We are slumped. Here's Behemoth Blade. We might be able to eat that up. Let's see. Eat this up, baby. Eat it up. Bro. Not very effective, and it still takes me out. <laughs> this thing's so good. I get, like, it's plus two, and it's a double damage hitting move. That thing is just so good. It's just so good. There's just no beating it. Like, it's just an amazing Pokemon all around. We gotta go with Lando. 100% gotta get that attack drop, but it's still not looking good. He's still plus one. And he has plus one speed boost. Actually, he's minus one on speed because we scary faced him. Intimidate coming out here. He has one more turn in Dynamax. Okay. He still has a Venusaur in the back. This Earth Power's gotta come out here. Great. Um, I think play might be Earth Power into Big Tears. Right? That's like our only chance. The Fake Tears take out some Pokemon and roll out with that and maybe have Turtonator stall and bulk up and win us this battle. That's like our only shot here. Victor's coming out here. Can Lando outspeed us? This thing, or both of them are minus one. Actually, Lando's not minus one. That scene is though. Knuckles can come out here. Go after Grimstarl, please. Go after Lando. Lando eats Lando. I need you outspeeding here, buddy. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. Let's see. Come on, Lando. You got this, baby. Behemoth Blade comes out here. On to him. Okay. But Lando is going to get off a shot here. And I think Grimstar should be able to eat the Actually, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's plus three. Actually, he's plus two. I don't think we need that one. Yeah. Not a shot. Jeez, man. Through the berry. Through the berry. This thing is just going off. We need to take him out here. Lando, I need you to take him out here. Earth Power comes out. Give me the KO. Give me the KO. All right. All right. We're seeing a little bit of light here. Just, just a little bit of light. Just a tiny bit. A tiny bit. We got a turret in the back. Turret coming out. Can he clutch it up for the boys back home? This will be insane if we do this. He throws out Venusaur. Venusaur doesn't have weather. He can put me to sleep, though. Which I don't like. Which you know I don't like. Lando's Dynamax is up. Okay, so he's plus two on attack. Actually, no, plus one because we intimidated it. And he's plus one on speed. Turret's out here. We go for a weather ball. I think Earth Power would be the play. Go here. I got my iron defense here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to set up an iron defense so body press can do some work. Rock Slizzle coming out here. He's probably gonna get the double flinch. Wow, well, she's gonna get the double flinch. I'm gonna be upset. Landorus flinches. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. 
He gets to flinch on us. He's heading after my turret, man. And turret's dead. And turret's dead. He gets to flinch. That's GG's. Solid third battle, though. I think that was a solid third battle. Nothing really we can really do about it. You guys already know, Zassine's overpowered. We tried. I thought we were maybe going to be able to pull that off in the end. But he ends up getting that flinch. Venusaur rolls out pretty strong. And I got to run this one. He's boosted. And he's got two Pokemon against one. But one and two. Solid three battles all around. One and two for today's video. Played pretty well considering we went up against three Zassine teams. All heavy meta. The first and third battle we played decently well. Ended up losing but we had a fighting chance in them. And in that second battle we dominated. Played phenomenal. And ended up getting ourselves that win. But guys that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here click that big red subscribe button. So you know when my videos go live. Seriously you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And above all else have yourselves a great day. Peace out everybody.